Hi, we're going to make a smoke brush. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to go to File and New, or just Control N, Command N. This dialog box will come up, and I want you to make a, a new square file. Uh, and it's going to be 100 millimeters. Just type in 100. We'll keep it at 300 uh, pixels an inch, and at 8 bit, click OK. And you just get a nice new file like that. I've already got a smoke photograph, uh, one I took ages ago, which has been languishing in my um, files. You could probably get one from DeviantArt, or if you want to pay for one, get from one of the micro stock sites. I've inverted this because I want to turn this into a brush, and I'm going to show you now how we're going to do it. Um, I want you to choose the Move tool, which is the V. Uh, hold down the Shift key, and uh, with the mouse down, just drag it across to our new file and then just hold it and release the mouse and then release the shift key and that's going to position the uh, smoke centrally over that new file now we're going to have to uh, change the side of this so control T and when the little arms appear just drag them in hold the shift key down when you're dragging in not really necessary you can just drag in the uh, bars with the handles at the side anyway so now we have a smoke brush a uh, smoke image over a blank layer. Let's just uh, flatten that, so Control e Command-D. E. And we're going to define this as a brush. Now what we need to do is to convert this into a monochrome black and white. Um, easiest way to do it in Photoshop of course is just go into the adjustment panel. Uh, you've got the flexibility of uh, defining your monochrome with the sliders up and down. Slide away until you've got something which you think's nice. Uh, that's not too bad really. I'm going to uh, flatten this again, so Control e Command-D, and I'm just going to take a snapshot, because there's another way of doing things. Let's just go back to the Merge down, and uh, a keyboard shortcut, Shift, Control u Adjustments, which is a desaturate, Shift, Control u Shift, Command-U if you're on a Mac, and that'll just take it, strip out all the colour. Take a snapshot of that, and you can see the difference between our nice black and white one and a stripped out DSAT. So I'm going to use the uh, one we converted with the black and white adjustment layer. You need to go to edit and define brush preset and this little dialog box will come up and, and we're going to call this a name. So let's call it smoking. That seems a good enough name. You also get a uh, Photoshop generated number underneath. This is 1180. This will be uh, for my machine you might get a different sort of number open up and we have a brush defined now the brush itself will be in the brushes palette and it'll be right down here at the bottom there it is 1180 and you can see straight away we've got a brush and we've got the black and white uh, colors sorted out black as the foreground color and if you just click on a white uh, file you'll get smoke so let's just copy that layer again and I'm going to just, again, just reduce the size. Use your square brackets, don't forget, on the fly, using your square brackets up and down, just to increase or decrease the size of your brush. And you've got a brush which you can use for absolutely anything now. <laughs> you may have no uses for it whatsoever. Let's just change the opacity of that and go down to the bottom layer. And I'm going to change the colour of the bottom layer brush. And we're going to have a nice bit of red. You can just take that brush over because we've changed the opacity. We're painting on the bottom layer. And I'm just going to click on that. And you can see underneath there, we've got a black layer over a red layer. So let's just play with those blend modes. You know I like playing with blend modes. Blend modes are good fun. You get all different kinds of effects. Yeah, you can always use the eraser on the top layer and take bits out. You can use a mask. Oh, you can play around forever with this. But don't. So you can see here that uh, with the difference in the blend modes, you can get different sorts of uh, effects. You can save that, you can use it as a background for portrait, you can drop it onto another image and use it as a texture layer. You can create brushes out of almost anything. Now I've shown you how to create a brush, don't forget, you could use leaves, shells, anything you want. Now let's see what else we can do with a brush. Remember what I said, use your square brackets to increase or decrease the size. Let's just put a blank layer over the top of this. Uh, I'm just going to reduce the size of this brush by 
using my square brackets let's just change that change the opacity at the top first of all so let me just go back in this and change the size of my so just changing it if you hold your mouse down you'll see you can get a scatter pattern now what's happening here the brush has actually got an engine which drives it and it's hidden over here so the brushes have engines yes <laughs> Lots of things to play with in here. If you're working in graphics, you'll probably know all about this. If you're a photographer, it's probably all brand new. You've got the spacing of the splatters. You can have it as a smeary brush. You can generate your own brushes, make your own brushes. This could keep you occupied for hours <laughs> during the winter. You can give it wet edges, do all kinds of things. Uh, scattering is good, especially if it's leaves. It's a great place to play around in. Uh, let's just take that back up there. So you can see it's very flexible. Once you created the brush, there's all different things you can do with it. Up to you now. Make brushes out of anything you want. Just define them as a monochrome grayscale. And there you go. I've been Max, TTFN. Uh, thanks for watching.